So, uh, things have been a little busy over at Activision Blizzard. And we got a few articles to go over. Essentially, the employees fighting back and Bobby Kotick's response is what I'm going to cover here. So, starting with Activision Blizzard employees publish open letter criticizing Activision official statement on the lawsuit. So over 3,200 Activision Blizzard employees have signaled an open letter to leadership, criticizing the official statement on the lawsuit, calling it abhorrent and insulting, and demanding one that reflects the seriousness of the allegations. This letter has been sent to various news outlets like Polygon and Bloomberg. This letter comes from many, uh, after many Blizzard employees released statements on Twitter. There is that to look at, but it's going to take forever because my goodness, they posted a lot on Twitter. But basically, Stuff is coming out everywhere, showing their discontent with the official statement, which described the lawsuit as meritless and irresponsible, as well as offering sympathy to the victims. Blizzard leadership has taken a more compassionate tone compared to the official Activision Blizzard statement, with members, uh, sorry, messages from J. Allen Brack, Mike Morheim, Chris Metzen, acknowledging the seriousness of the allegations and how they have failed their employers. However, many current and former Blizzard employees have expressed disdain referring to an entire situation as a failure of leadership in which complaints against senior employees were ignored by the very same people now expressing their platitudes of remorse. Again, hearsay. We need to find out more. Will we really get to the bottom of that? How much dirt is there to be found? We will see in time. Did they know more? Did they ignore it? Did they encourage the bro culture behavior willingly or just reluctantly? We don't know. The number of signatures is rising since we first reported on the story, with Kotoku uh, noting over 1,000 employees have now signed the letter and former employees confirming that Blizzard alumni are welcome to sign the letter as well as to express their support. As of afternoon of July the 27th, over 3,200 current employees as well as past ones have signed the open letter. Kotoku, um, Kotaku, Kotaki, uh, has also published a statement from an anonymous Activision Blizzard employee who helped draft the letter. Following the announcement from Activision Blizzard and in light of the internal memo circulated by Francis Townsend, a group of over 800 employees were sacked. Oh, wait, no. From across all of Activision Blizzard King and its subsidiaries came together to take action. A representative of the group told Kotaku... I'm going to say that differently every time. Over the weekend we drafted an open letter to our leadership that is now gathering signatures from across our organizations that have been working on the next steps. So below you can actually read the full letter sent to Activision Blizzard. So to the leaders of Activision Blizzard, we, the undersigned, agree that the statements from Activision Blizzard and their legal counsel regarding the DFEH lawsuit as well as the subsequent internal statement from Francis Townhen are abhorrent and insulting to all that we believe our company should stand for. To put it clearly and unequivocally, our values as employees are not accurately reflected in the words and actions of the leadership. They're not happy. We believe those statements have damaged our ongoing quest for equality inside and outside of our industry. Categorizing the claims that have been made as distorted and in many cases false creates a company atmosphere that disbelieves victims. It also casts doubt on our organization's ability to hold accusers and abusers accountable for their actions and uh sorry just abusers ring accountable for their actions and foster a safe environment for t victims to come forward in the future these statements make it clear that our leadership is not putting our values first immediate corrections are needed from the highest level of our organization well that would be jay allen brack i guess other than bobby Cote, and you're going to get to him anyway in a moment our company executives have claimed the actions will be taken to protect us but in the face of legal action and the troubling official responses that followed we no longer trust that our leaders will break, place employees safety above their own interests to claim this is a truly meritless and irresponsible lawsuit while seeing so many current and former employees speak out about their own experiences regarding harassment and abuse is simply unacceptable we call for official statements that recognize the seriousness of the allegations and demonstrate compassion for victims of harassment and assault. We call on Frances Townsend to stand by her word to step down as executive sponsor of the ABK Employee Women's Network as a result of the damaging na nature of her statement. We call on the executive leadership team to work with us on new and meaningful efforts that ensure employees as well as our community have a safe place to speak out and come forward. We stand with all our friends, teammates, colleagues, as well as the members of the dedicated community who have experienced mistreatment or harassment of any kind. We will not be silenced, we will not stand aside, and we will not give up until the company we love is a workplace we can feel proud to be part of again. We will be the change. Damn. 
So they're rising up. This is like a video game story or something like that. Uh, Detroit Become Human, something like that. One of the sub-stories in that. Or the side story. There's like three main stories, really. So one of those three. With Marcus. Um, yikes. So, yeah. Now we've got the Warcraft team releasing a statement on Activision Blizzard lawsuit and removing inappropriate references. So basically, coming back to this one, before we go, do go move, move forward, not even the employees of Blizzard trust them anymore. So the customers have been spurned. And that's pretty obvious through all the various things that Blizzard have done. The China, the Reforged, uh, just their general behavior, <laughs> as well as the sacking of employees, or like the higher-ups mistreating their staff with this female, um, you know, the, the mistreating the female employees. <sighs> oh yeah, all the loot box stuff as well. That was sort of like a precursor before all of this, showing the Activision greed. Um, there's so many things basically that have been surrounding Blizzard lately, so the customers have lost a lot of respect. And now their employees are also losing their respect as well. Like, who wants to work at Blizzard now? I'm not sure. I guess they want Blizzard to be good, which is what part of that response was in that previous. But they need to work on weeding out the people that are causing the problems. This is all it comes down to. But anyway. Warcraft team released a statement on Activision Blizzard lawsuit and removing inappropriate references. The World of Warcraft team has released a statement talking about the Activision Blizzard lawsuit and the team statement. They also mentioned they are working on removing in-game references from offending parts of the game. While no specifics were given, uh, <laughs> one could assume this would include references like Field Marshal Stonebridge, an NPC refer uh, referencing Alex Afrasabi, which has prompted many spontaneous in-game protests. Well, it's like a tearing down his statue and all that kind of stuff, you know? Uh, they removed Swifty from the game super quick, his NPCs, when he was accused of something. I can't remember exactly what it was. And that wasn't even, like, confirmed at the time. And I don't think it was either confirmed in the end either. And Blizzard didn't put his stuff back. They just flat out removed it. Any time, and we've seen this time and time again, any time anyone has a slightly bad reflection on Blizzard, you're gone. They will get rid of you in a heartbeat. Whether that's there's truth to it or not, they will remove you from the picture. But they're quite hesitant, as we've only just found out that they removed this sort of like recently, and not like immediately, to deal with their own people who are actually causing the problems. Hmm. Funny how that works. Wow UI senior software engineer Valentine has provided valuable context behind the statement, noting that Wow leadership will pay team members for their time spent protesting during the walkout, as well as allowing leaders, uh, leads and managers to participate without fear of professional repercussions. So yeah, like the whole World of Warcraft team, I think has been like put on hold for now. Like uh, they've stopped essentially. I don't know how long that's going for, whether that's still working or what. But uh, that's something I heard. Our leadership on the WoW team has worked with us over the last week to respond and take, start taking actions. In addition to the message crafted in large part of by the non-men across our team, that would just be women, right? Unless you're referring to some sort of like uh, transgender stuff as well. Uh, our leadership has also agreed to pay us for the time we are taking off for our walkout. Well, that's nice. And committed, I guess uh, that's one good thing they're doing, but under the circumstances, they're kind of like, if they don't, then it, yeah. They, they have to do everything to try to damage control at the moment, Blizzard. And yeah, this is kind of the thing that bugs me a bit. It's like how they treated Warcraft 3 Reforged. They kind of had this blase attitude that, ah, uh, it'll be fine, or ignore it, it's whatever, like, who cares? And they don't deal with these issues that come up and are spoken to them. They come, they become aware of this. Like we let them know about Reforge way before it came out, and female employees have let Blizzard know well before this has even become a thing, really, that there's been issues. But they just don't care until the the house is already on fire. Do you know what I mean? And then they're like, I mean, it was just a, it was a few flames in the corner at first. And they're just like, whatever. But once the, like, the entire roof is on fire, they're like, okay, I suppose we better start doing something. It's so, like, come on. Who are these people that are in charge? Noting that well leadership will pay town, uh, blah, blah, blah. What was he saying? And committed to allowing leads and managers to participate in the strike without fear of recrimination. I see this as the first step towards being willing to speak with their actions. So we have um, uh, 
Blue track our official post from Blizzard. It was clear from our team conversations that we wanted to put forth a statement that was representative of the World of Warcraft team sentiments. We asked all members of our team to send us suggestions and feedback on how best to address the community, and this is the result. The past days have been a time of reflection for the World of Warcraft team spent in conversation and contemplation, full of sadness, pain and anger, but also hope and resolve as we heed the brave women who have come forward to share their experiences. We stand committed to taking the actions necessary to ensure we are providing an inclusive, welcoming and safe environment both for our team and for our players of Azeroth. Those of us in leadership understand that it is not our place to judge when we have achieved our goals, but rather our team and community to let us know when we still have more to do. Hmm. Well, we turn to our team for guidance in our eternal uh, work to protect marginalized groups and hold accountable those who threaten them. We also want to take immediate action in Azeroth to remove references that are not appropriate for our world. This work had, has been underway and you will be seeing several such changes to both Shadowlands and WoW Classic in the coming days. We know that in order to rebuild trust, we must earn it with our actions in the weeks and months to come. I've heard that before as well with Reforged. But we go forward knowing that we share the same vision as our community without creating a place where people of all genders, ethnicities, sexual orientations and backgrounds can thrive and proudly call home the World of Warcraft team. So yeah, again, this whole, our actions are going to speak louder than words. Yeah, well that's, again, those are just words that you're saying right there. And Reforge is like 18 months plus old and they said like a while ago they were going to promise to sort it out and we haven't seen any uh, action in that front. So, easy to say these things. Now, let's move on to good old Bobby. Ooh, look at those storks. Those stonks. I tell you, that's going to go back up, though. It always does. This is the thing. Like, this is still just a blip. Blizzard ain't going down for this. They ain't going down. This is just a blip. Because they got past the China thing. It's the same thing. Their stocks fell. And then their stocks went higher than they'd ever been. So, I, don't, I would not be surprised if the stocks go way higher than they've ever been. Like, honestly, now is probably a good time to buy stocks in Blizzard. Like, I, you think it's falling apart? It will go back up. It always goes back up. Activision Blizzard CEO Bobby Kotick, amid falling ATVI stock prices, has responded to the lawsuit allegations detailing actions that the company will be taking moving forward to improve the workplace and calling Activision Blizzard's initial response tone deaf. This follows a somber day of news pertaining to the lawsuit, including the World of Warcraft team issuing a statement and Activision Blizzard employees announcing a walkout protest on Wednesday. While Activision Blizzard's stock remained stable through the initial lawsuit news, it sharply dropped this morning following the announcement of the walkout at 10 a.m. Blizzard. This has been a difficult and upsetting week. I want to recognize and thank all of those who have come forward in the past and in recent days so i appreciate your courage every voice matters and we will do a better job of listening now and in the future our initial responses to the issues we face together and to your concerns were quite frankly tone deaf yeah this is all hindsight it is imperative that we acknowledge all perspectives and experiences and respect the feelings of those who have been mistreated in any way i am sorry that we did not provide the right empathy and understanding i'm sorry do you remember that we're sorry uh, many of you have told us that active outreach comes from caring so deeply for the company. That so many people have reached out and shared thoughts, suggestions, and highlighted opportunities for improvement is a powerful reflection of how you care for our communities of colleagues and players and for each other. Ensuring that we have a safe and welcoming work environment is my highest priority. The leadership team has heard you loud and clear. We are taking swift action to the compassionate, caring company you came to work for and to ensure a safe environment. There is no place anywhere at our company for discrimination, harassment, or unequal treatment of any kind. We will do everything possible to make sure that together we improve and build the kind of inclusive workplace that is essential to foster creativity and inspiration. I've asked the law firm Wimmer Hale to conduct a review of our policies and procedures to ensure that we have and maintain best practices to promote a respectful and inclusive workplace. This work will begin immediately. The Wimmer Hale um, team will lead, will be led by Stephanie Avakian, who is a member of our management team and was most recently the director of the United States Security and Exchange Commission's Division of Enforcement. That's quite the title. We encourage anyone with an experience you believe violates our policies or in any way you made uncomfortable in the workplace to use any of our many existing channels to report or to reach out to Stephanie. She and her team at y, uh, Wilma Hale will be available to speak with you on a confidential, uh, confidential basis 
and can be achieved or reached at ATVI. Your outreach will be kept confidential, of course. No retaliation will be tolerated. We are committed to long-lasting change. Effective immediately, we will be taking the following actions. So they're going to do employee support. We will continue to investigate each and every claim and will not hesitate to take decisive action. To strengthen our capabilities in this area, we are adding additional senior staff and other resources to both the compliance team and the employee relations team. Listening sessions. We know many of you have uh, inspired ideas on how to improve our culture. We will be creating safe spaces moderated by third parties for you to speak out and share areas for improvement. So it's going to be like an um, alcoholic anonymous kind of thing where they have little uh, rooms full of chairs in a circle, I assume. Personal changes. We are immediately evaluating managers and leaders across the company. Now that's the main thing they need to do. Anyone found to have impeded the integrity of our processes for evaluating claims and imposing appropriate consequences will be terminated. Now that is a, yeah, now we're getting down to business. Hiring practices. Earlier this year, I sent an email requiring all hiring managers to ensure that they have diverse candidate slates for all open positions. We will be adding compliance resources to ensure that our hiring managers are in fact adhering to this directive. In-game changes. We have heard the input from employee and player communities that some of our in-game content is inappropriate. We are removing that content. Your well-being remains my priority and I will spare no company resource ensuring that our company has the most welcoming and comfortable and safe culture possible. Why is it like I feel like I believe him and don't believe him at the same time? Because, <laughs> you know, he sacked like 800 people and all that kind of stuff. But I do think that he probably does believe this does need to be dealt with. He seems to be one of the people that's actually sort of saying what needs to be done and actually putting methods ahead not just like the theory craft but actually the action to make it happen so at least there's that you have my unwavering commitment that we will improve our company together and we will be the most inspiring inclusive entertainment company in the world yours sincerely bobby so this is going to be like basically a massive witch hunt going on at Blizz blizzard for quite some time i think right they're going to have to dig and get all these stories from all these employees and then try to confirm the truth of this to make sure that they're effectively sacking the right people and not people that have not, you know, been accused but weren't necessarily guilty. Do you see what I mean? I kind of look at this in a way of like, to speak of World of Warcraft, the Titans trying to pluck the old gods out of Azeroth and in doing so... They left some of the corruption behind. So they need to make sure that this one is adhered to by far more than any other. Is they make sure that they get the right people. Because that's how you deal with it. Easier said than done by a long shot. But otherwise all this other stuff is just words. The main thing is actually dealing with the people that are causing the trouble. Obviously. If you remove them from the equation, everything's going to be better. I mean, you've seen this in TV shows, in films, and in real life. You have like a group of people, and they can be adversely affected by just one person. One bad person who's in, normally in a place of power or control will be able to essentially have everyone else around them feel uncomfortable, but they still can't really do anything about it because this person who is in power, holds all the cards. If you remove that person from power, everyone else will then be uplifted. So, yeah. Interesting stuff. There's still plenty more to cover. I think that's the funniest thing so far. I'm almost tempted to buy some stocks myself. But at the moment, as of recording this, Blizzard employees are basically having a little uh, walkout. So that's currently going down is a virtual protest as well as an active protest protest at Blizzard is currently underway and taking place. So you can see this is going down and uh, people who will stand up against Blizzard. It needs to be done. It's part of the process. But the only thing that really matters is, like I say, actually dealing with the people that caused the problem in the first place hands down they can't move on from this until they've got past the bad people in the team because all that's going to happen is you'll hear about another story five months later where someone else has done something in a position of power at blizzard and they'll be like oh, 
they're going to have to basically bring the hammer down. And it's a bit brutal because some people might lose their jobs where they shouldn't. But if you was in Bobby's position, you probably would just basically be quite harsh on who you are going to fire. Like, there's, there's going to be few excuses that will basically stop you from getting fired if you've been even remotely involved in any of this stuff, I think. So we're probably going to see some names come up of people that have got taken down as a response to all of this. So, yeah, there you go. If you enjoyed this, thumbs up, subscribe, and all of that good stuff. Hopefully uh, you want to keep up to date with all of this because I'm interested in uh, continuing to talk about it. So I will do so. Have a good one. Take care.